variety, stage two, race like a champ. I'm in category C. I'm very confused why I'm in category C, but nonetheless, uh, this is where the good Lord has me. So I'm gonna smash Watts as hard as I can and um, hopefully get first place because I cannot hang with the B group and maybe I can hang with C. Richmond roller coaster. There's a super long lead in and there's some stupid steep hills. They're not ultra long, I don't think. I remember a couple of them were just like punchy. So we're back in Cat C, back making some audio recordings, voiceovers for my races. So started out nice and early, wanted to assert my dominance, let them know that I am a demoted B that they are up against, um, uh, whatever that means. So. Yeah, again, I'm super confused why I'm in Category C. Not not particularly thrilled with it, but because I mean, nobody ever wants to get demoted, right? But at the same time, um, I have way more fun racing in Category C because I'm on the top of the spectrum here. Whereas in Category B, ah, total opposite at the very bottom. Cannot hang on. Uh, so blasting with these guys was actually super fun. It's It's very nice to... Uh, race at the front of the group. One of the downfalls I had with this though was I was very confident because I was on the higher end of the spectrum of power. Um, so, uh, you know, healthy dose of arrogance mixed in as well. Uh, you'll see that here shortly. But um, yeah, no, Richmond Roller Coaster is not a flat route. And that's where I had a lot of my trouble with the flat is fast, especially in Category B. And uh, one of my, one of my, subscribers i believe commented and they're like yeah you know the flat routes are very hard because you get these big guys just smashing the pedals totally agree i think that had a lot to do with the um light speed that everyone was traveling at you know doing four watts per kilo or whatever and i'm just a little guy can't do that so um it's nice to be able to do a hillier route and have the group kind of thrown off a little bit. So actually, we're just uh, not even two full minutes in, and the group is already split up pretty good, and I'm in the front group, which, again, feels fantastic, by the way. It really does, and it's a real, like, confidence booster. Heart rate not even 160 yet. I, again, that's fantastic. I feel so good about that. So we are making our way through this course, and I... Um, I don't know, doing my old cat C ways, just trying to sit in with the group. Again, got a little confident, a little too arrogant at some points where I you know, really didn't need to. This hill, <laughs> this hill is one of them, I'll, I'll, as we'll see here shortly. Um, it's like, okay, how can I draft as best I can, conserve energy as best I can, but also like we're, we're charging up a 7% grade here and there's gonna, I know there's gonna be a couple more so, you know, the healthy blend of conserving and burning a match when and where I, I feel like is going to be best for me. Nice pump going on here. Yeah. Eleven percent. Alright, it's a little longer than I recall. I yet again made sure to establish my dominance. Um, might have burned a match here. Heart rate's uh, pretty high. But uh, made sure to be the first one to go through this uh, KOM banner. Um, yeah, you can bet your bottom dollar I passed Mr. DP there. Um, what threw me for a loop though was I didn't get the KOM jersey. Which I was actually kind of upset about. Look at this, I got like a decent gap on them too so first one through the banner get the new power up hit the cobblestone descent first place baby and we begin to send it so the guy behind me gets the pr and he gets the kom jersey so hmm not thrilled about that because i really wanted it all right another one all right, then we sling around the corner and we line up for another one. So in, in this waste no time, getting right up there to 10%. And uh, 
that's not even half of it really so the group catches up no no point in me like pushing the pace at all no point in blowing the doors off right now to um be across first across or through the banner again it, it just there was no point so i was like all right let me stay with everybody um heart rate is eh, plenty high right now 175 of course i'm working forward so it, it makes sense um Felt good going into this race, actually. I've been doing a lot more zone two, so like I'm, I'm feeling pretty good for it. Um, I got zero warm up, and it was a, it was pretty chilly, so the legs were physically cold. All right, so we're gonna speed it up because it is pretty uneventful throughout this whole section. This is where it uh, flattens out. Uh, we regroup and we're working together. So this front group is uh, 15, 20 people big. Um, so yeah, I mean, definitely, you know, the group's been split for quite some time. Then we got this long, drawn-out hill. It tops out at about 7% or so. Uh, I try to stay in the front portion of that, but again, we all regroup. It's flat, and this is basically where the where the race is going to finish up. So it stays pretty flat. I actually thought there was one more hill, um, but I don't do my homework, so... One thing I want to point out, though, is this is a deciding factor here in the race. This guy goes off the front. You can see him in the center of the screen way up ahead. Um, and nobody chases. Nobody does anything, actually, which was a point of concern a little later on. Dude, he is gone. 17 seconds? That's crazy. Good for him. Skipping ahead to the final uh, less than half mile. Um, this is where everyone starts to get real squirrely, of course. I mean, it's going to be a very flat uh, field sprint here. So um, I think I'm ready for it the best I can be. Uh, I mean, I've had a great race up to this point. Feeling very, again, just very confident. A little on the arrogant side. There's a little more, a few more guys than I anticipated to uh, be with us for whatever reason. But, uh, um, obviously the one guy is way up the road, he's probably already finished at this point, or close to. So we start winding up for the sprint, and I deploy the arrow boost way too stinking early. Um, it always, I always think it lasts, you know, twice as long as it actually does. Um, crack over a thousand watts, happy about that. And the, the boost runs out, I'm giving it everything I have, and I just, ugh, I can't, I can't quite squeak him at the line. 27 minutes, okay. 20 minute power, 3.2. Five minute is 3.9. Five watts for one minute. And 8.2, 15 seconds. Fourth place. And as always, knowing the route, where it starts, where it ends, is uh, probably always crucial. You know, I don't ever know. I thought there was a final hill. What a crazy route, actually. Not my favorite. Oh, I can't even see it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ooh, 1042. 186. Hitting that high end heart rate. Critical power. One minute. This looks kind of new. 454. Five minute. 305, 15 second, 839, 1042, that is not bad. I do know I've hit 1200 before. So yeah, dude, that's, that's nice. That was cool. Um, I mean, I definitely enjoy racing in category C far better uh, because I'm actually racing with people. I understand getting dropped is part of racing. I get it, but I don't want it to happen to me every time. It's kind of discouraging, so whatever. That was cool. Biggest bummer is I didn't get a KOM jersey. I thought for sure I was gonna get that one. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I don't know why I'm at back in C, but uh, it's it is what it is, and I'm gonna I'm gonna always do my best, and I'm never gonna give up. I encourage you to do the same. Always do your best, and never give up.
Alright, we'll see you in the next one.